um, in the various uh, boroughs and things like that, who got the plague? Was it everybody, or was it the posh, or the poor, or the uh, different sorts of classes or occupations? Yes, it's fairly universal. Almost anybody could get it. Um, one of the things that affects social incidence is that the wealthy leave London if they possibly can. Anybody who possibly can leaves London. Um, not necessarily at the very beginning, but at some point. So that's anybody who can afford to leave London, has somewhere to go to, uh, has a country house, or somebody who will receive them, gets out of London. Which means that the parishes where the wealthy congregate have a thinner population, less dense population, than the remaining population in the poorer parishes. So the poorer parishes, by and large, have a higher death rate. The city centre has a much lower death rate than the immediate suburbs, but that's almost certainly because such a lot of people have got out of town and are therefore, as it were, not there to catch it. Um, it does kill people at the top end of the social stra stratum, but it also, but, but it does kill more people lower down. But then, of course, you know, there are many, many more poor people than there are middling or wealthy. So it's, it's to some degree, it's socially selective. Um, it's not like smallpox, which will kill anybody at any time. Uh, but it's not quite as closely tied to social class and living conditions as some people have thought. 